Morning everybody. Yeah, I'm back out at the spot. It's Sunday morning, nice uh, Saturday morning, nice and early. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit this spot again. We had some decent rain this week. And uh, hopefully the soil will be nice and soft. Wow, look at all the water down there. Right, see you in a bit. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Get that camera out of my face. Right guys, my first find is this surface find and it is a, where's that name again? Oh, there you go. Barrel of slime. I think this is some sort of, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's for kids. Uh, maybe it's patty or something like that. I don't know. Well, it's cool. I'll keep it. Got somebody that I can, whose kid I can give that to. And then the second target is this little one. Where are you? Okay, right here you are. I'm gonna just show you. That thing there, don't know what it is yet. Let's find out together. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. Okay, at first glance I want to say Henry Martini. Uh, yeah, yeah it is. Surface find, basically, but I found it with a machine. Huh, it's always welcome. Now guys, I'm uh, going to give you a little bit of history on this area. Um, it used to house 20,000 British troops on their way inland to the Free State. So uh, they came from southeast Ladysmith. Went to town, camped in this area. So you've had uh, British soldiers here for at least six weeks uh, prepping to go to the Free State. And this would be the area where their camps and tents would have been. And that's probably why I find fire, fight off uh, bullet casings, and buttons and things like that. Right, see you at the next one. In areas I've detected, and found these I found some old stuff as well square nails are always a sure sign that the area is old and I just love them and I see there are plenty on the ground here okay that's a modern screw there's one and there look at that okay I'm gonna use a magnet and pick these up what's this this looks like something copper hmm Okay, I'll take a closer look at that one. I don't know what that could be. Hmm. Come on, focus. There you go. Hmm. Right, guys. See you next time. Oh, dear. See you at the next find. Very next find. Henry Martini. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm loving this. Okay, guys. The next hole. Really shallow. And I found this little piece of... Uh, ornate iron. Well, it's got a mixture of iron and copper. I think it's copper. I don't know. It doesn't have the color for it. But there's some sort of decor decorative pattern on it. It might be another... Wait a minute. That's the English crown. That... M oh. It broke off there and there. It looks like that uh, badge that I, that I dug out last week. The part that was missing. I'll check when I get back home. Awesome. This hole is, or this area is just getting silly now. One hole. One and two Martini Henry casings. And then, like, 100 millimeters further, another one. And this whole area, there's a line of them running here. Same signals. Awesome! Man, I wish I had a tripod. So I took out the next scoop right there and broke it open and I saw something sticking out there. Let's see if I can show you. Piece of squashed copper plate which resembles something like a Martini Henry shell but in a... there's a bit more left of it. Oh. oh. Nice! Oh! Fuck! Nice! Wow! <laughs> wow! Man! Oh, that's so nice. I w I'm gonna f I've got a feeling I'm going to find my white whale today, which is one of these 
complete. I might not record that because I'm going to be crying. <laughs> well, I hope I'm not boring you guys, but uh, just showed you those. Pop this plug out, it was breaking up, and there you can see the lovely guy. Where is he now? Uh, there. Huh. Also, Martini Henry. Oh man, this is this is turning out to be a fantastic day. Alright, see you in a bit. Come on, focus now. Hey guys, okay, two things. It's a fantastically beautiful morning. Oh man, I love this! Woo! <laughs> oh dear. Okay, sorry about that, I just had to do that. Right, number one. I've been noticing, and I'm the only one coming here, pre-dug holes. I just covered this one again, but you can see it's it's not covered properly. Um, there's another one. Look at this. Look at that one. A big hole, about two inches deep. There's the rock they removed, and they didn't cover it. Now, I've been noticing this, and I thought, man, did I skip covering the holes? But no, that that's not... I don't do it. See, there's another one. I just, I, I, I covered it slightly. But this is silly. Apart from that, somebody's been watching my videos and uh, visiting my secret spots. Well, that's fine. As long as they declare it to the museum, I don't have a problem. See, there's one of my holes. And there. Nicely covered up. Um, there, this area, guys, I've been finding about, or oh, so far I've found about six casings in this small area. Martini Henry casings. Then, okay, I'm melting, apologies. It's really humid, and you just have to take it there. Um, I just received a call from the traffic department telling me that I need to move my vehicle. Well, I'm going to do it uh, showing you the scenery. What? Oh, this thing's freaking out again. Ah, okay, I understand what's going on. I just had a phone call from the traffic department telling me, you see, if you look closely between those two buildings, there, a piece of my bucky, my vehicle sticking out there. I need to come and the traffic department orders me, remove your bucky or we'll get a tow truck to remove it. I tell the officer, listen, who am I talking to firstly and what did I do wrong? And the officer said, hey sir, somebody complained about your bucky standing there, they're concerned, and they want you to move it. And I said, okay, well, send out the officer, let him, come, uh, let, let him come and speak to me, and you'll see I'm not parked illegally, and I'm parked, parked on public ground, so they could do whatever they want. Anyway. I found the curator, me, I found the curator and told him, hey, this is what that, what's happening, did you complain or something? And he said, no, no, you've got full authority to do whatever you want there. And he said, wait, let me find the guy working on the ground. And he said, um, and he found the guy and he found me back and he said, you won't believe it, but it's actually the guy working on the grounds that reported the vehicle. So yeah, I almost had to pull anchor and slap a few Officers of the law around. Ah, uh, Kriki. Now, guys, I'll see you at the next find. Thanks for watching. Woohoo! Loving this. Right, guys. Next target, one scoop out, and that's about two inches. And it looks like a latch. Ah, uh, not a latch. Uh, maybe a latch. What do you call this? Um, one of those things a lock would go through. Uh, maybe on a chest or something like that and it looks ancient I love finding things like this nice hey guys um, can you hear that Tulsa? Aaron? ha! <laughs> da anyway guys I just wanted to demonstrate what type of area I'm digging detecting and the mineralization you see all that is mineralization minus eight I found is mineralization 
So you'll hear plenty of signals. Ah, there is a repeatable one. Hmm, can't see anything on the on the ground. Right, I'm gonna dig this one out and show you. Let's see, I think it was here somewhere. Oh man, rock hard! Bunch of rocks. I can't do this one handed, I'm sorry guys. Right, I'm gonna ah, get out of the way you bastard. Mm. Okay, I'll be I'll get right back to you. Damn it, I should have done this. Look what I just found. Oh Martini Henry! The bullet point. This one saw some action. Got impact damage. Still great to find these. Right guys, next target. In between the rocks, look at that boulder I had to remove. And there you can see it. Three inches. Heel plate. On the back of the English soldier boot. On the bottom. Fantastic! Yeah! Right guys, the next target, this really interesting copper piece. Now, by the looks of it, it's got a little, I don't know, uh, well, focusing is going to be a problem. Let's see if I can get it just to focus. There you go, beautiful. Right, you can see that it's got a little bit of a, a knob thingy there. I still need to clean it. But either this is letter zero or a uh, letter O or the number zero. Um, Part of military insignia, I think. It look I, at first I thought this was a key, the head to a key. But no, no, it's not. It gave me a copper signal. This is a cool find. Ooh, next one. And can you see the bugger there? Can you see it? I think you can. Ha ha. Be right back. Let's collect the bounty. Oh, nice. This one is in good condition. Oh. See if I can get it to focus. Um, hmm. Uh, can't see anything. Shank is intact. Fantastic condition. Oh, man. Oh. And I'm on my way back to, to my pickup. And I can't see any detail yet. But I think I'll be able to recover something from that. But normally these buttons are made by a company called Smith and Wright, Birmingham, England. And if I'm not mistaken, this one's a bit caked. And I can't see anything on it that uh, that looks familiar. Just a bunch of bo uh, bumps. And Let me just try and scratch it. Oh, okay, there I can see it now. A general service button British issue. 1881 to 1902. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey everybody, just a quick roundup, really quick this time I promise. I just gave all my uh, bullet casings a wash, so they're currently drying off, but as you can see, these are all Martini Henry bullet casings, and not all of them have been fired. Actually, I, I really can't see a single one that's been fired. Look, look there. Uh, let me use this little pointing device. If you look at the, the cap there, it's still intact. There's another one. There, it's still intact. That thing needs to be hit, uh, bent the other way, distorted. All these caps are intact. So this might have been an ammo box that was left behind. I um, found this one bullet, Martini Henry bullet. Uh, this one you saw. And then... Uh, I cleaned up the button, nice motor on it, nice design. So then the I've got one heel plate, the barrel of slime. This was the crown piece that I was talking about in the felt. And uh, if you look at last week's thing that I found, this I suspect would go there. And then this might be a long shot, but I'm pretty sure. You remember this little key type thing, a letter or a zero? 
this would be too big for that purpose. No, it's not going to fit there. And the regiment is called uh, 36, I think, or 39, so I don't know about the zero. So no, that was just me taking a chance. But that uh, definitely must be a piece, a piece that's missing. So this thing is taking shape. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it as always. This is just my junk. And I hope to see you soon. Good luck in your next hunt. I'm going out tomorrow morning again. So probably have the same amount of stuff to show you. See ya. Zoom, zoom, zoom.